for now. Mark Castro, what's happening? What's up? What's up, Eddie? Mark, I'm, a bit, I'm a bit worried because you just turned pro and I see yeah. you got a very nice whip. Oh, I got it before I turned pro. Okay, I'll let you off, yeah? So you're not spending yeah. your money before you made it? No. <laughs> I got it before I turned pro. I got it in December. Okay, fair enough. So so all this, you know, you, you obviously that, that sponsorship with Jim Sharks going well. Yeah, it's going good. Everything's good. good How's everything with you? It's good. Obviously, tough times everywhere. What's life like in uh, quarantine yeah. in California, in Fresno? Um, it's good. Everything's just slow right now. I'm still training hard. It feels like training camp. And I just stay to myself, to my family. That's how it's always been. So it's nothing has really changed. Frustrating for you, obviously, due to fight either on the Regis program, Marie Sucker card, but obviously, you know, was a potential for the uh, Canelo card as well. Frustrating yeah. that the pro debut's got to be slightly delayed. Um, yes, it's frustrating, but I'm still training hard. Um, I'm just getting ready, more time to get ready and um, sharpen my game. And when the time is right, when we start up, it's just going to go like a wildfire. It's just going to keep going. Obviously, I wanted to bring you on here to the guys. Some will know about you, some won't know about you. Run down your uh, your accomplishments as, a, as an amateur, one of the most decorated amateurs in, in U.S. boxing history. I'm a 17-time um, a seventeen-time national champion, two-time amateur world champion, the second American to do that, and I have a record 177 wins and seven losses. It's not bad, eh? Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> a lot of sacrifices. I said, you know, a lot of people won't know about your story. When I first met you, obviously, managed by Keith Conley, who's got Danny Jacobs as well, but very close with your dad and the journey that you've been on with him. I'm jealous of that, you know. Obviously, he's, he's your trainer as well, but he must be very proud and has obviously been there with you from, from the start of this incredible journey. Yes, my dad has always been there. My dad knows what's best for me, and, um, like, it's it's so humbling to have my dad along the journey because those are memories you can't replace. A lot of people talking about your weight division. Talk a little bit about where you feel you're going to start that pro journey in terms of weight and where you feel that you're gonna you're gonna end up going? I feel like I'm gonna start at um, probably my like first bout, maybe 127, 28, and then try to fill out. If I, my body don't grow yet or soon enough, um, go 126. I, I feel like I can make it, and uh, eventually down the line, which is like 10, 15 years, maybe 154. Having wow. a great career, everything going good. You got to win a world champ. Like, you got to win a world championship in every one of those divisions. Yeah, and uh, and unify and all that. Undisputed as well. I mean, you might, you know, you might as well. Yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you yeah. talk about 26 right now, obviously some of those guys, you've you've spent some time. See, I'm I'm guessing you would have just been around with Shakur Stevenson coming through the amateurs as well. How do you rate those guys at 26? We got, for me, the number one guy right now, where he's number one ranked. Uh, it's yeah. Josh Warrington, the IBF world champion. Obviously, you got Shakur, you got Gary Russell. You got Kanzu, you got Leo Santa Cruz. How do you rate those those featherweights? Um, like one through four. Yeah, I feel like for number four, I'd probably be Leo Santa Cruz. Well, number one, I feel like number two is Gary Russell. Number three, is Josh Warrington. Number one, Shakur. You rate him that highly, yeah? Yeah, he's that good. Wow. I I've, I've seen Shakur like dog it out with um, Terence Crawford. Really. And, I feel like Shakur you know what? I felt, I felt like when he turned pro, Shakur, that yeah. he didn't really have the punch power, and he really. And this is one thing I think is really interesting for the for the amateurs coming through. I see it with um, Ray Ford as well recently. You know, yes. they start off in their first three or four or five fights, and it might be the same with you as well. You know, where they're not quite setting their feet in the same way, and I feel that Shakur's power has really developed in in a short space of time. Because I wasn't sure whether he would have the power at 26 until he started, you know, stopping a few guys. I feel like uh, Shakur is always working, improving his game. So if he feels like he needs to work on something, he's going to work on it. Obviously, so, uh, training training for you is going to be geared with, with your father. But also, you spent plenty of time with Eddie Reynoso as well. Do you think that'll be an element you'll be adding to your, your team as well? Yes, eventually, um, I love to work with them, and um, I feel like it'll be a great mess together. And um, the sky's the limit. When, when you went in there and you were seeing the fighters, obviously, there's a lot of talk at the moment about Ryan Garcia potentially fighting Devin Haney. We know you're you're quite friendly with Ryan Garcia as well, but 
you, you rate Ryan Garcia highly as a as a real threat, 135 now? Um, there's the 135 is stacked, but yes, he's um he's really skilled. He's um it's all skilled. Sometimes it's whoever has the best day those days for the for the lightweight division because everybody's talented at the that division from Demi Haney, Lomachenko to the um what's his name, Tofima Lopez and yeah. Ryan Garcia. And it's a great day. Um, that that division's gone unbelievable. I mean, you got our Luke Campbell as well. You know, you got uh, Javier Fortuna, Devin Haney, uh, like you said, Lopez, Lomachenko, Ryan Garcia. It's an unbelievable division. Yeah, that's the division that's going to bring like the spark back to the fans and stuff. Tell the fans watching, Mark, when you were coming through the game, who were your heroes? Who were the guys that you you watched coming through? Who are the guys you still watch now? Um, the main guys was um, coming up would be like Oscar De La Hoya, Floyd Mayweather. So when they fought, that was kind of like big. Manny Pacquiao, and then it was Marquez, and then and then uh, right it was Triple G, Canelo, all of them like all those big guys. But right now the main one is Canelo because he's like taking the lead with the sport, being the face of boxing, and it just it's it's great to see. A lot of people telling me off because I didn't mention Javante Davis in the lightweight mix as well. Yeah, I mentioned him. I said you, you rate you rate him highly. Yes, I do. Um, they're all because his punchy power is incredible, and uh, keeps himself in the mix with the the lightweights because he he's talented as an amateur, and then he got that punchy power, and he always switches up the angles with everybody. So they're all talented. They all have their unique things. We know you're gonna have a massive following in Fresno, in California, and obviously Mexican heritage as well. But tell us a little bit about. Your heritage, because I know El Salvador as well. Big, big part, yeah. of, big part of that. Uh, Mexican, uh, Mexican. I'm Mexican. I'm uh, Mexican and Salvadorian. My dad's Salvadorian. My mother's Mexican. And yeah, that's two Hispanic cultures that I feel like they're great boxing fans. Mate, we look forward to following you guys. People tuned in here, you're going to see Mark Castro boxing in the US, in the UK, in Italy, in Spain, all over the world, and. uh Mate, I can't wait for you to start your pro career. Quick message for the fans as well. Obviously, tough times for a lot of people as well. People stuck indoors, people waiting to go to work, etc. Yeah. Uh, just keep uh, cherish your loved ones at this time and just keep keep staying positive. Mark, look forward to seeing you soon, my friend. Okay, I can't wait you. for people to see you fight. Yes, sir. Take care, yeah. mate. I'll take care. Peace. Bye,